Uh, hello guys and welcome to the second part of uh, runtime permissions. So in this video I'm going to show you uh, practically in Android Studio how to implement this. So first uh, just add this uh, read context permission in uh, manifest file. And now uh, let's get started. So first uh, we're going to create one um, private uh, final uh, integer. Uh, so we're going to name this uh, variable let's say my permission uh, request read context maybe okay and we will uh, set that variable to one uh, this is variable just to associate uh, to our uh, read context permission so now we are going to check uh, in our own create method uh, if uh, the permission is granted or not so let's type if context compat we'll use a method uh, check self permission and we're going to pass two parameters uh, uh, main activity dot this uh, and the second parameter is a permission so we're going to use manifest dot permission uh, read context and this will be our permission for this tutorial this is just an example and uh, if this permission is not granted uh, we're going to create a package manager now uh, dot granted okay permission granted so if the permission is not granted then we're going to uh, type here some code so this is just a comment for you to easier understand the code below so if the permission is not granted uh, then we're going to create a code which will um, ask or uh, explain to user uh, it will explain to user why we need that permission to be enabled so we can run uh, some functionality uh, which is uh, very important for our application so uh, should the show uh, request permission uh, on rationale is a method which will uh, explain to the user why we need uh, uh, this permission and uh, okay so i will pass two parameters here uh, this and manifest permission read context so inside this block uh, i'm going to create alert dialog uh, okay just pass the context activity okay and uh, i'll create a title and uh, I'll say uh, hmm, maybe request permission or something like that. Okay, now I'll uh, use method set message. In this message, I'll uh, we will going to explain to the user why we need this uh, this read context permission. So I will just type a random string here. But uh, you can type uh, anything you want to explain to the user why need uh, why you, why it's need to be enabled that specified permission. So I just type uh, you should enable this permission to read contacts uh, to do that and that just, uh, just an example. So I will create two buttons negative button and positive button. So I need to pass two parameters uh, the name and. Uh, on click listener so in this negative button i'll create uh, i'll create uh, code for requesting permissions so if a user clicks uh, no after we explain him uh, what uh, he or she needs to uh, needs to do to access that uh, functionality um, so when the user clicks uh, no it will uh, just uh, disable that our functionality and whenever the user access uh, the application again it will prompt uh, the user again uh, to accept or deny this permission and um, if, uh, in, if and uh, this the second time uh, it will show the check box for uh, do not ask again and when the uh, user checks that box then uh, it will uh, not prompt the user next time for uh, for permission so in our onclick method here uh, we are just requesting the permission like that and the third parameter is uh, our uh, integer for read context 
in the second I'll deploy a positive button for this so I'll say a grant permission that's gonna be the name of our positive button and again in this uh, on click method for positive button I will just copy the same code and paste here uh, okay uh, and even if user clicks no or yes it will prompt uh, the user again to check uh, to check the dialog box uh, to accept or deny this uh, permission and uh, in else block here I'll just uh, add one more time this line of code so uh, we need to set uh, one more else block here for our first if block and this is just uh, in case that uh, permission have already been granted all right so uh, now that we have created uh, this little code in our own create method we need to overwrite uh, a method for uh, uh, for a permission response so uh, just a second we are going to <coughs> override that method uh, uh, not inside on create method of course and we are going to uh, and I'm going to show you how to do that okay now press ctrl O and type on request permission result or request permission result and just delete this super dot I don't know why we don't need that for now and uh, let's uh, we're use a switch uh, switch block for a request code so if uh, a request code is uh, our code for uh, read context which is a value one this is that variable so if uh, that's the request code then we're going to uh, create some if blocks here to check uh, the results for uh, permissions so uh, here we're going to check if uh, the user have granted or not the permissions on uh, for our application and we're going to show different toast messages for those cases so let's type here um, if grant result length uh, is greater than zero that means that the user uh, have uh, granted the, the permission to us and uh, we'll add one more uh, uh, one more here in the if block double okay and if grant result uh, zero which is the first uh, item in the index array is equals to package manager uh, permission granted okay so we need uh, those two uh, to be true and if those two are true then we can display a toast message saying uh, I don't know thank you for uh, granting the permission or something like that or yay permission is granted now we can do the functionality and you can do your functionality for this current permission okay and in else block and that means that uh, the user has uh, declined uh, our permission for read context in this case and we are going to display a different toast message in uh, this line of code so we'll say um, permission not granted we need to disable the functionality for example this is just an example okay and uh, and that's pretty much it uh, in the switch uh, switch block here uh, you can even uh, set the case for some uh, other uh, some other permission um, whatever permission you will need to for your application you can uh, check uh, the result of permission here and just to repeat uh, this code uh, as it is above so now we're going to check our application and uh, you're going to see how uh, this code actually works and I hope it will uh, explain to you everything so we are accessing for the first time and we get the dialog to accept or deny the permission so when I click deny I get this message permission not granted 
And now I will run the application again. And as you can see, I am uh, getting our uh, explanation uh, alert dialog. So I am explaining to the user why we need that uh, permission. And if, and if the user clicks uh, no, it will prompt again. But this time we are going to see this uh, checkbox don't ask again. And if the user checks that and clicks uh, deny, then uh, next time we run the app, uh, we won't be prompted uh, for a request permission. Instead, we're just going to see the message that permission is not granted, as you can see now. So, I'll now uh, uh, delete this application and is install it again on this emulator. And this time we're going to uh, accept the permission. Okay, now let's run it again. And as you can see here, when I click allow, it will allow and we are going to get the message permission granted. And that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you need a detailed explanation on, uh, on permissions uh, in details, uh, please check my uh, first part of this video to uh, learn more about it. And um, thank you for watching guys. Please like this video if you... Uh, if you learned a lot and uh, see you in the next video.